السلام الناس الكل مرحبا بكم مرة أخرى في شان يوتيوب ألفيا أكاديمي قناة التعليمية الموجهة لتلاميذ الإعدادي والثانوي نجمو تطلعوا زادة على موقعنا آه على العنوان التالي www.elvia-6academy.com نجمو تطلعوا على جل التلخيص آه تمارينات فروض مرفقة بالأسلاح لتلاميذ السابع أساسي حتى يكشي للبكالوريا سو so, اليوم درسنا في اللغه الانجليزيه باش يكون موجه لتلاميذ الثاني الثانوي تابع محور education lesson number 3 coping with exams so let's see the objectives of this lesson so in this lesson students should be able to one express regret give advice Learn new vocabs like to cope, to panic, to check, to fail, to bother, and more. And finally, we're going to see some tips that help students cope with exams. Now, starting with activity number one, page 104. In this activity, we're going to read these captions first. Now, let's see Paul what has to say. I'm not sure whether I've answered questions 2 and 5 correctly. And I don't have time to check them. What should I do? Jane? Oh no, I didn't revise the passive. Why did I spend all the time... All thing I already knew. Mary, this test is rather easy. I won't even bother to check my answers. Andy, help! My mind's gone blank. I revised it all, but now I can't remember anything. I'm going to fail. Beth, I spent ten minutes on this question. And I still don't know the answer. I'll never finish all the others. Barbara? Oh, I wish I'd started my revision before last week. I was up so late last night and then I couldn't sleep because I was so worried about this. Yeah. Sorry, where is it now? Finally, Steve. Oh no, time's almost finished and I haven't even read this last chat section of the test. So, these students seem to be confused, frightened, they don't know what to do, they need advice, except for Mary. She seems to be relaxed. She said the test is easy and that she won't even bother to check the answers. Okay, so these students obviously need advices, sorry, advice. We're going to help them, but before that, we're going to define some new lexes here. So, to cope with. So, and when uh, there's who coping with the exam, so what does cope with mean? To cope with, to cope with means handle or deal with. To panic, a sudden overpowering fright uh, in French we say uh, crise de panique واحد كي بدا خايف برشا يجيك كي الكريز now to fail to fall short of success or achievement uh, in Arabic we say uh, يفشل to bother 
to take the trouble or effort to do something. To check means to examine, verify, or control. Gone blank means to be unable to remember anything. Now, uh, here Andy said, my man's gone blank, which means uh, he can't remember anything. Uh, when uh, that's the meaning of minds my mind is gone blank my mind's gone blank means can't remember anything now some students expressed regret okay here we have Barbara. Barbara she said, Oh, I wish I started my revision before last week. Wish here express regret. So now to express regret, we use subject plus wish plus past perfect. L'example اللي شفناه I wish I'd started my revision before last week. So, wish, I wish, I subject, wish, plus past perfect. I'd started, اللي هي I had started. Let's continue. Another way of expressing regret. If plus. Past perfect plus would plus have plus past participle. To the to be in Marktash way, have you to for her snake, Sarathania? Would you do to for her actor to Hamuk and Shallah Hamt el Bacaluria? So, an example if I had worked hard, I would have passed the exam. If past perfect. Had worked. So, uh, a conditional sentence, conditional type three. So, the short have if plus past perfect. Natija the short would ma have ma past participle. If I had worked hard, a short. Natija the short I would have passed the exam. Now, let's move on to giving advice. So, let's help these students out. So, in this lesson, we should ought to and had better. So, let's see some examples. You should plan your time in the exam. You ought to leave enough time to check your answers. So here answers in the plural. plural answers. You had better prepare for the exam beforehand. Now, uh, should and ought to are almost the same. Okay, had better is more strong so when we say you should and you ought to which means things are advisable you can do it or you cannot it's up to you but when we say had better it means that thing is really urgent if you don't do it you probably fail okay so you had better prepare for the exam beforehand mind up so uh, that's really uh, difficult to uh, to achieve success. So you had better prepare for the exam beforehand. Manita period exam 
عندنا جمعتين باش نحضرو فيهم نخدمو فيهم لي تيست دونك من بداية الثلاثي نخدمو داي <hesitation> داي باي داي الحاجة لي نقراوها اليوم نراجعوها باش ما يتراكمش علينا الدروس الكل so let's see the grammatical rule here so subject plus should or ought to or had better plus base verb which means the verb in the infinitive form you should plan so plan infinitive or to leave infinitive again and prepare infinitive now we're done with the grammatical rules now we're going to see some tips to help students cope with the exams and of course these tips you can use them uh, in your essays Donc, tips in your essays paragraph Students, كيف إيش ينجموا شنو من النصائح اللي تنجم تقدمهم للتلميذ بش يعدي الإجزام متاع. So these tips are divided into two groups. Some tips before the exam, other tips during the exam. So عن حشتي نصائح بش نطبقهم قبل الامتحان كيف إيش نحضره للإجزام. ونصائح أخرين شو هو كيفاش نتصرف وشنو نعملو <hesitation> أثناء الامتحان. So before the exam what you need to do you should create a study plan it will not only help you maintain a proper study study schedule but also get a clearer sight of what needs to be done and when. List down the name of the subjects and topics. Sort out the priorities of studying each subject. So, نعمل schedule واضح. يوم كذا. For example, Monday I'm going to study English from uh, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Then take break. Okay. Then go back at Uh, for example, uh, uh, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Review uh, Arabic or French for an hour, then go to bed early. Organize the study space. We are able to focus and study at our best when we are in a pleasant and comfortable environment. So, you should find the best spot. In the house or in your room where there is a better light fresh air and uh, the, the place it is uh, really quiet so we can see the place and we can see it and we can see it so we can see it for example you have kids next to you playing or Uh, TV or music playing loud. Okay. Third advice: study in groups. If that helps, if I can't you can do it. If you are that kind of person that you can only uh, review your lesson by yourself, you cannot concentrate uh, with your colleague. Then you better uh, review your lesson. Alone. Next, take regular breaks. Of course, نجموشي إحنا نراجع للدروس متاعنا. For example, مت مانيا هتكشي مت مانيا دون القطاع. So, نراجع take breaks نخذ راحة بين المراجعة والمراجعة. Uh, maybe take a snack. Then go back to the revision. And finally, maintain a proper Sleep routine. So, mission her. Uh, you wake up at midday. Go to bed at midnight. Then, 
The next day, wake up early and sleep late. That's not a proper routine. So you need uh, to follow uh, a good schedule and also you need to eat healthy. So eat healthy, drink water and sleep early. Now, here some advice during the exam. First thing, have a positive attitude. So, don't panic. If you have, if you have already, if you had already uh, reviewed your lessons, uh, slept well, everything is organized. Then you don't need to panic. So, go through the exam paper, read it all before answering the questions. So. Hidia, uh, really uh, an interesting and crucial advice. Kijina warqat al exam. Manshufushi, for example, if you have reading comprehension, mshish direct nakra al paragraph lulini, pshit krit lili question, narja al paragraph lulini, ah shufta dia, dhurit lil answer direct nimshinak tabah. No, you need to read. The whole text, read the questions, read the text again, then answer the questions. Next, organize your time. Don't focus on just one question. Spend uh, like half an hour in one question and forget about the rest. Then uh, at the end, you don't find uh, any time to uh, answer uh, the rest of the questions. So divide your time, manage your time equally, manage it equally between reading comprehension, a grammar, and a writing. And finally, check your answers one last time before handing over the exam paper. Donc, بعد ما كملنا جاوبنا على لي كيستيون كل بل ما نرجع ورقة الامتحان نعاود نثبت في الإجابة متاع so دي من خليو that five or ten minutes to review or check uh, your answers for one last time before handing over uh, the paper. so that's it. إن شاء الله تكون اللسان واضحة وإن شاء الله تكون استفدتوا. إذا كان عجبكم الفيديو ما تنسوش بس تعملوا لايك بس تجيو الفيديو مع أصحابكم. وزورونا على المنصة متاعنا إذا كان فما حاجة تحبوا تطلعوا عليها إكزرسيس معين لصام معين مش فاهمينها نجمو تشوفوا المنصة متاعنا وتلقاو تمارينات ويسير معهم الأسلاح سو كملنا درس اليوم وإن شاء الله نشوفكم في المرة الجاية